Okay, welcome everybody. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. Um, today we are working on some ideas for quarantine life. And um, my project today is just to show you how you can take random household items and put them together to make a journal that you can later take out for a um, nature walk or whatever and add to as you go about life. This is really good for um, teenagers especially because one, there's no money involved in it, and two, you using random household items and it's a great way for you to express your emotions without having any rules to follow other than what you feel like doing. So these are some random items that I found I put together around my house. I'm sure yours will be totally different. And then I'm going to show you the journal that I made from items just like it um, in just a minute. But first, let's go through this pile of junk. <laughs> so here, this is just a random piece of paper, dotted paper, actually, that it got torn out of a notebook. It was going to get thrown away, but instead of throwing it away, I decided it would make a great insert. Uh, this is a shipping box that came off of my watercolor set. I just wanted to hold on to the box. Um, I will show you how you can use that to make a book. Um, a, let's see, clothing tag of, of um, just a shirt I had in my closet. Um, here is an actual card. Now this card hadn't been used yet, but um, everybody has them, especially with the holidays coming up, Easter coming up, you'll get cards from grandparents or whatever. And again, those make nice additions. And not just the card, but the envelope part. The envelope is the part that really makes the difference when you add it to your journal, and I'll show you how to do that, okay? We have um, a piece of artwork that came out of an art subscription box. Uh, this is just a, whoops, just a piece of... Um, cardboard it's just in a package it had artwork in it originally and instead of throwing the packaging away I saved that these is your uh, flyers that come in the mail um, the book that I used I used Lane Bryant and I used uh, Bath and Body and a couple others for that as well this is an advertisement I had picked up for a show that was going to be done here in Charlotte let's see if I can um, what it's going to do is it's going to add interesting pages to the um, piece so it did both things it quite you know it, it adds artwork to your journal but it also um, you can paint over it and you've just got a different type of fold or pocket added and then this last piece um, because I am working on getting some of my prints made for our shop I uh, ordered this this was free by you print it um it's basically a sampling of everything that they use uh, for their let me turn it see if I can get it to do this here everything that they sell Okay, so um, I was specifically looking for a thickness of paper that I wanted. So that's what this is, is a swatch kit that shows you the different types of papers. But if that's all you have, then that's all you have, and we can make that work. Uh, right now, I'm not ready to do that. But when I do finally get finished with all of my um, business items that I need, I'm going to definitely go back and reuse this and not just throw it in the trash. Um, so that is my trash. Um, I did add a couple paper clips. Um, I had different sizes around the house. And then a hair tie. And then this is just an alligator clip with your normal um, office supplies. So come back in just a minute and we will show you the book that we created and how you can go from here. 